Welcome everyone, today we'll talk about packages, crates and modules in Rust because so far we did many examples, many lessons, but we always used a single file and of course for real production ready projects this is not possible, we can't put all our logic in a single file. I mean technically we could, but the idea is that at some point when we write code we want to organize these uh, in different packages, libraries, different files. Why? Because we want the code to be more reusable. We want to abstract the implementation. I don't know. For example, we want this package because this package is about uh, the vegetables that will be used uh, in this project, but maybe even in an upcoming project. I like uh, the structure of uh, packages and crates and modules in Rust. This is a um, first example that I want to show on how it this project would look like. Can you see here we have, for example, different .rs file. We have different and new keywords. We have, we have this pub, mod. We never used these keywords so far. You can also see this uh, use, create. How can we organize this code. A disclaimer before we go on the next slide is that in this case we'll just talk about smaller projects, so not like uh, huge projects. For huge projects we need a concept called workspaces that we'll not cover in these lessons, but we will do this in the future. We are getting, I'd say, a bigger project but not like a super big project. We'll talk about just a little bigger projects compared to what we did so far. And this slide is very important because I tried to make it as clean as possible. There are four concepts. This is what is called the Rust module system. And we have different things. You see, we have package, crates, module and use, the use keyword, and paths. Let's try to understand them one by one. First of all, we have a package. What is a package? A package in Rust is a bundle. It's a bundle of one or more crates. We will see crates in a, in a few seconds. And a package is a cargo's feature to build and test and share crates. And to understand, this is what has been like very clear to me, a package is something that contains a cargo.toml file. So far we created a simple package with only one crate. Crates are trees of modules that we'll see soon. And this is very interesting because uh, crates can be a library or an executable. And I think here we need uh, an explanation because uh, so far we created executable crates. Okay, this might sound a bit strange because uh, usually, for example, for people who code in JavaScript, when we talk about a package, for me a package is not like an executable, but it's a sort of library. From a logic point of view, even the executable we create are crates. But to be honest, in the Rust ecosystem, when we say crates, usually we refer more to library. For example, there is also the, the domain crates.io that is similar to npm. Crates are more libraries than executables, but from a logic point of view, even an executable is a crate. And from a logical perspective, a crate is the smallest amount of code that the Rust compiler can consider at a certain time. So this is what is a crate. It's a single unit of logic. As I said before, a package can have one or more of these crates. Modules are used for paths that we'll see soon. It's basically about the organization. It's similar to what we did so far with the scope. For example, we want something that is visible only at a certain level. The last concept to understand is this very simple concept of Paths. A path is used to name items, structs, functions, modules, then can be used inside a module or inside somewhere else externally. A path is a way to identify the single items, the single function 
the single module, the single struct. What is a, a create root? A create root is a source file to create uh, all the root modules. As an example, here we have this uh, src main.rs that is used when we do cargo new. And in this case, the src slash main.rs is the create root of a binary create, basically the executable one, with the same name as the package. And you see something interesting here. In the cargo.toml file, which is a sort of a package.json, we don't have a reference to this main.rs file. We don't see like main.rs here. The main.rs file is by default attached to this package, okay, to this create. Let's see this in a very simple demo. And we can type to create a new project. Do you remember in the first lesson, we created a hello world in Rust in three different ways. One is using the Rust compiler, one is using cargo new, and one is using cargo init. What's the difference? When we use cargo init, we create a Rust project inside this existing folder. When we do cargo new, it creates a folder and inside that folder it creates uh, the project. So we have uh, these two approaches. To be honest, I use them both, depending what I have to do. For example, in this case, uh, I'll use uh, cargo new because I am in the C workspace uh, folder. It's easier for me to type cargo new rust dash modules. I love how Rust is super fast at creating a project. Then we can step into this folder, Rust modules. And you see here, we have this very minimal project. And if we open this with VS Code, again, we have the usual hello world in Rust. But this time I want to think like some seconds about this structure. So we have this cargo.toml file, as you can see here, but here we don't have a reference to this main.rs file because this main.rs file is the root of this crate. And this is a very simple and minimalistic package. To identify a package in Rust, it's something that has a cargo.toml file. In the next lesson, we will start creating some modules. But this was more like an introduction to this uh, chapter. Very important if we want to get serious about Rust and start creating bigger projects uh, with uh, dependencies. Uh, maybe we want to import uh, other crates. Uh, and so to understand the structure of this project.